Hey basketball players, today I'm going to talk to you about how you can become a great center in basketball. Now just like every position, there's two aspects to it. There's the offensive and defensive side. We're going to start with the defensive side because that's my favorite side of it. And then we're going to move into the offensive side. Okay, so number one as a center, what you want to do on the defensive side is to be the anchor of the defense. You are usually the biggest player, strongest player on the court. So you're the player who is needing to protect the key. Now I understand that your player who you're guarding may be out on the perimeter because there's more and more off, uh, five out and four out offenses being ran. However, you're usually in the position of help defense anyways, which if your player is out on the wing and the ball is over there, you're gonna be right here you're still protecting the key. Now, if you're playing on a, in a zone, if your team plays a zone, you're either going to be playing usually this area right here in the middle of the key, or you're gonna be playing on one of the two sides of the key, depending on if your team is running a 2-3 or a 3-2 zone defense. However, being an anchor of the defense doesn't mean that you're blocking all the shots, doesn't mean that you are stopping all the baskets from down low. You're in a position where you get to see the whole court. You get to see what's happening pretty much everywhere on the court. So you can call out things like screens. For example, if I'm down here and there's a, we're in a 2-3 zone defense and my player, let's say his name is Tyrone, is playing up in that top, let's say, shooting guard position. And I can say, hey, Tyrone, screen left. That means to him that, hey, there's somebody coming up on his left side, there's gonna be a screen, and he needs to then decide, do I go underneath the screen or fight over top? You are the anchor. You are the one who needs to talk the most on defense. Now, I really want you to look at how Nikola Jokic plays defense. I really want you to see and focus on his face and see how much he's calling out things on defense. But I also want you to check out Marc Gasol, and I do have a video on his defensive skills where he really calls out a lot when it comes on the defensive side. Now when you're playing defense in the low post, you need to get low, that's number one, especially if your player has uh, the, the ability to really score on you quickly. So let's say he's pulled you out just a bit too far out of the key or out from away from the basket, you're gonna wanna get low because by getting low, you're gonna be quick enough to keep up with him. And also when he does go for that shot, let's say he drives and he goes for that shot and I'm staying low, I still wanna have my hands up, whether I'm being tall or being low, I want my hands to be up, but when he goes up for his shot, this is gonna give us more spring to our legs to try and block that shot close in. Now, no matter what position you're in, whether you're a center or a guard, you don't wanna to go to block shots from the perimeter. That usually creates a lot of opportunities for players to fake you out and drive on you, so keep that in mind. However, when you're in the low post and you have somebody actually posting you up, you wanna stay as big as you can, be as tall as you can, and you don't wanna give up any ground. So there's a lot of players who will take charges in the low post. You can do that, but you have to keep in your mind that being the tallest, biggest player on the court, if the other team's biggest, tallest player has the ball and you take a charge, if the refs don't call it as a charge and they just don't call it at all and say, oh yeah, that's nothing, he flopped or something, then he now has an open layup because you're on the ground. So I always like to say, and if you're a guard in the low post, try to take that charge. If you're a center, stay big, stay strong. You really wanna work on that core and shoulder strength, hips, legs, obviously whole body, but those are the main parts. And when you're in the low post and you've got somebody posting you up, stay big, stay strong, stay wide. And then if they go for a shot, if you feel like you could block it, go for it. But what we really want is for you to stay big, stay tall, and then if you feel like blocking a shot but you think it's kind of iffy, jump straight up. Don't jump in and try to block that shot. Keep your hands up and then just jump because that still contests that shot and makes it hard for that player. 
So defense is a lot of fun. You get to take a lot of hits, but you also get to give a lot of hits out when it comes to players running into you and you can hold your ground. But on offense, it's still a lot of fun because you can actually start powering through players. And if the referees allow it to happen more and more, then you can have a lot of fun in the low post. It's a lot more physical of a position. So the number one move that I like to teach every single player is the power dribble into their defender and a baby hook. So how you're gonna do this move, when you get this ball, you wanna be either near or above that block. You don't wanna be right on it. And then when you get this ball, obviously, when you get any pass into the low post, you wanna land on both feet. This gives you a lot of different options. Now, quick easy move is you just turn, pivot into, the, but have your foot in between their legs and then when you go down, you wanna power through, moving all at the same time. However, you do not wanna lower your shoulder. You wanna keep your shoulder over top of that foot. So basically from this angle, you want it to look like you've got that ball, you go in, bang. Lifting up with your shoulder, but not lifting going down and in. You wanna keep your back straight, keeping that shoulder over top of that foot up that moves that player, dislodges him from that position, gets him a little bit off the ground sometimes if you're strong enough. And it could be called a foul, I'm not gonna lie to you, but most refs will not call this a foul. And you're gonna go bang into him, pivot, and up for that baby hook, having this guide hand go up to stop him from blocking that shot. This is just a quick one dribble move, and it's always good to have one dribble, two dribble and zero dribble moves down here in the low post. So you're gonna get that ball, landing on both feet, bang, and then up. Now there's a couple of areas that you would wanna stand when you're trying to get the ball in the low post. So for one, you could start on the low block. This is where I always tell a lot of my players to start. However, when you get that pass in, you wanna land on both feet and you wanna be out from that block. You wanna be roughly at this first hash mark and about two-ish feet out from that hash mark. This gives you the ability to do one and two dribble moves towards the basket. Now, if you get that ball too low, you're gonna to wanna to do zero dribble moves because now you're not gonna have enough room to pivot and operate. So basically from here, you're gonna be looking at just doing an up and under type of move, or maybe getting that ball, doing a quick shot, or maybe a quick shot up and under towards the middle of the court. There's multiple different moves, and I have made so many videos about that, but basically talking about how to become a great center, you need to be really talkative on the defensive side. You really need to be able to talk also on the offensive side to say who's supposed to be going where. You're the anchor of the offense and the defense. The point guard is the quarterback of the offense. And now, also, you need to be super strong and knowledgeable about the offensive low post so that you can get into a position to score easily. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.